Hey everyone, this is How Next here, and today I'm going to bring you the ultimate guide to optimizing Crunker so that your computer will be able to run it at the best of its ability. If this video does help you out, please be sure to drop a like down below and consider subscribing as these videos do take a while to make and I really appreciate it if you can do any of those things to support my effort and my hard work into putting this video together. But anyways, let's get right into the video. So the first tip I'm going to be showing you guys is going to give you a significant one. This will significantly boost your FPS and performance. So as you can see, we're literally hopping to a match right now and we're playing around like 11 FPS. This is just completely unplayable. And our ping is so high and we're just going to literally lag crazily. And as you see, I'm going to get killed in just a sec. Now, I didn't change anything. There's nothing wrong with my settings. It's I'm not capped at frames. My resolution is the same. I didn't change any settings. It's just that I'm just capped at 11 FPS for just no reason. And a lot of people think that it's something wrong with their hardware. However, it's actually something wrong with the browser you're using. Now, there's a setting that we have to change and this will give you a significant performance boost. And by doing this, you're gonna wanna head over to the settings. This option is available for any browser you're using, whether it's Google Chrome or something else. You wanna click over the search bar or whatever the search bar is in your browser you're using, and you wanna type in hardware. Now you're going to see this option where it says use hardware acceleration when available and you're going to want to simply turn this option on. Now if it's off then that may just be the reason why Crunker is just lagging crazily. You're going to want to turn this option on and click relaunch. Now once you have relaunched your browser you should see that this option is enabled. Now we're going to be heading over into the Crunker match by refreshing this page we're just going to refresh it. Now we're just going to hop into a match and as you can see we're literally around like 200 fps and comparable to what we were at before it's significantly better. Now the next tip I'm going to be showing you guys will give you a slight boost in performance and what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be disabling the visual effects in Crunker and some of them should be disabled for pretty much anyone and some of them can be distracting and it's best to turn them off anyway. Now I'm gonna quickly turn on the FPS option because I forgot to do that. So as you can see, we're hopping around at like 200 FPS. You can barely see that. What we're gonna be doing is that we're gonna be disabling visual effects and we're gonna to wanna to do starting off by heading to the render tab. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be disabling the map details. This is probably enabled by default, but you're gonna to wanna to disable that. And the shadows sh should be enabled by default. But what we're gonna to wanna to do is that we're gonna disable all those options. And these are basically shadows in the game. So you shouldn't be seeing any more shadows. And also some of them are distracting too, and they could affect the lighting. And if you don't really care, then you better disable it anyway. Even if you do have a very good FPS average. Now we're going to head over back, and next we're going to be disabling is the muzzle flash. Now the muzzle flash is a distracting feature. When you shoot an assault rifle or any other gun, it will show this kind of flashing effect. Just like that when I was firing an assault rifle. And by disabling this, you won't see that flashing effect anymore. And this effect is a bit distracting, and this should be disabled for pretty much anyone. And as you can see, I'm firing the assault rifle right now, and there's no muzzle flash anymore. It's just shooting normally. Next, we're going to be disabling the screen shake. And what this option is that when you fire a lot rocket launcher or when someone else fires a rocket launcher, it will shake the screen. So as you see, I have an RPG right here. And when I fire it, it will shake the screen. Now, what we're going to want to do is that we're going to want to disable this effect. And when we disable it, when you fire the rocket launcher or when someone else fires the rocket launcher, you won't see any screen shape anymore. And this option is the same thing like the muzzle flash. This should be disabled for pretty much anyone. In fact, this actually is more distracting compared to the muzzle flash because when someone fires a rocket launcher, it could affect your gameplay. The next tip I'm going to be showing you guys will give you a much more significant boost, which is the resolution in Crunker. Now, what we're going to want to do is head over back to the settings app. And same thing as before, we're going to be heading over into the render tab. And for resolution, it's most likely going to be set on 1 or 0 0.6 by default, depending on your situation. And if you set your resolution to 1, it will be rendering at the exact resolution of your monitor. If so, if you have a 1080p monitor, if you set it to 1, it will just be rendering. At and however, this option is set way too high. This could affect your FPS. As you see, I'm setting it to 1.5 and it's already like around 75 FPS, which is pretty bad, honestly and it was at like 200 before so it's never really a good idea to set it to 2 since that will be rendering double the resolution of your monitor so it's always a good idea to leave it below 1 so if you have a mediocre pc 
and you still experience lag at 1, well, I recommend for you setting it to 0.7. This will be rendering your resolution at around 720p if you're on a 1080p monitor. So I'm on a 1080p monitor, and this is basically 720p right here. And it's still playable because the graphics aren't too bad, but the but my FPS is much better right now. And this is highly recommended if you have a mediocre PC. If you have a pretty bad PC, then you're gonna want to lower this to about 0.5. And as you can see, it's a bit uglier right now. Like you can tell that there's some pixelation. And if you set it all the way to 0.1, you can see that's way too blurry. Like obviously your FPS is much more smoother, but it's just way too blurry. And you probably shouldn't set this way too low. So what I recommend is that you shouldn't be setting this any lower than 0.3 because anything that's lower than that is just gonna be way too ugly and it's probably gonna be unplayable since the resolution is just way too bad. But if your computer's just too bad and you want to set it to 0.1, by all means, you can go for that. But for most of us, I highly recommend you not setting it lower than 0.3. Now the next thing we'll be changing is the render distance. And for the resolution, I'm gonna leave it at 0.7 because I feel like it's a good spot for me. For the render distance, we're gonna wanna lower this down. Most likely it's going to be set to 100. I wouldn't recommend saying to 1 because you can literally see nothing. As you can see, the render distance is not enough and it's just, you should probably shouldn't be setting it to 1. But what I recommend is around 50 if you're on a really bad PC. You will still be able to see things, but if your render distance is set all the way up to 100, it could be mainly the reason why Crunker's lagging. Now the next tip I'm going to be showing you guys will prioritize Crunker so that it will run at a higher priority than your upload applications. And by doing this, it will boost its FPS. So therefore, it will perform much better on your computer. And we're going to be opening up the settings app. And this option I'm going to be showing you guys is only available for Windows 10. So by going, proceeding on, we're going to head over to the gaming tab. We're going to head over to game mode and go to graphic settings. Now we're gonna wanna find the Crunker's EXE. So if you use the Crunker client, you just wanna copy the desktop shortcut and you're gonna paste it just like so with, by doing control V. And I've already done that, so it's gonna show right here, but you wanna go to options and set this to high performance. And if you're on a browser, you wanna find your browser shortcut, right click, click copy. Now you go click browse, control V to paste, add, and you're gonna wanna set this to high performance. And this will basically prioritize Crunker so that it will run at a higher priority than your other applications. And therefore, by doing this, you should see some significant FPS boost afterwards. So that's it for the video, guys. Hope you all enjoyed and hope you all find this helpful. And I hope you guys found some FPS increase and some lower ping. And if you did find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like down below and consider subscribing as I am trying to gain some subscribers recently. And other than that, I'll see you all in my next video.